The world is rapidly changing through information communication technology, ICT. More persons are now connected, while services and products can be easily accessed with just the click of a button. Currently, Guyana has seen a number of initiatives being implemented to transform the country through ICT. One such initiative is through ICT hubs. The ICT hub in the village of Crabwood Creek on the quarantine of Burbies is being called a success story. On a typical afternoon from 1600 hours to 1900 hours, dozens of children and other residents use the facility to complete homework, assignments, send emails, browse the internet, and communicate with family and friends on social media. A number of students that visit the ICT hub regularly spoke with the Department of Public Information on the purposes for which they utilize the hub. Do you come here every single day or only when you have homework? Only when I have homework. I do homework sometimes and sometimes I come and just wait for a seat and watch. Like what I learn. What I learn at school, so when my exam coming up next year, I will be able to write. Do you have any other favorite site that you like go on? No, really. Any video you like on YouTube? Yes. The Elisa, the cartoon one, and sometimes you watch the human body. My name is Uma Mahadeo. I am 10 years old. Crop Group Primary School. Can you tell me about the work or what is it that you're doing here at the ICT Hub this afternoon? It's a human body. Okay, what about the human body? The respiratory system. Why do you like coming here? Um, with my friends and playing games, doing homeworks, draw, all these things we do in here. You like to draw? You like the drawing program? Yeah, we have good fun here. I see you, you bring your little brother and what is, you teach him and stuff about it? Show sure, him, so in the group he's going to know what it is. You mostly teach him, ga show him games and... Learn how to, um, you have a spelling thing on here, he's showing how to see letters, learning letters. You like coming to the center? Yes. Um, what do you like about the center? You is learning, you is doing everything, you, you're doing your homework. Everything you're doing. The hub has a number of volunteers who give up their time unselfishly to ensure that the hub is managed effectively and the children are supervised. Each volunteer has a specific day of the week that they volunteer. Gomati Samaru tells us what her afternoon is like. My afternoon session goes with the Mavis Beacon typing system where you introduce the children to learn, to type, you uh, exercise their fingers. And then on Thursday, together with me and our other supervisor, we run a, a little computer class where to teach them the parts of the computer, how to go on the internet, how to minimize, maximize, just the basic things for now. The center caters for all. Children with disabilities also visit the center. Eileen Davidson, another volunteer, explains. We also have dumb and deaf children. They will come in to use the browse the net and go um, type, learn to type. They, they've really learned a lot. They learn their sign language. They go to YouTube, learn sign language um, to get it better. Minister of Public Telecommunications Catherine Hughes recently visited the Crabwood Creek ICT hub and expressed a sense of pride and satisfaction after interactions with the volunteers and residents. I am excited at what I'm seeing. Um, as I was sharing, it's an opportunity for me to actually meet the management committee uh, who come, who's coming from the community itself and to get a sense from them, you know, exactly how the hub is working. It's all well and good for us at the ministry and eGov to have a vision of putting uh, computers in a safe space and providing the internet access, you know, free. But really the success of the, of the facility is how the citizens take advantage of it. So this visit today has been very, very um, productive and encouraging for me. Uh, you know, I spoke to the members. They were able to share that in any afternoon, they have up to 30 people 
actually um, waiting to use the facility. They've explained that they make it a priority that students can come and use it and do their homework. And what's really exciting too is that it is clear when you look at the management team here that they've gone beyond. Um, they're doing an excellent job of motivating the community, of giving back. Um, one of the uh, secretaries of the association here was actually mentioning that after the kids have done their homework, they actually have been doing some in-house training. So how can I thank them? You know, it's so important for me to be able to say, you're part of this important partnership. We and government are doing one part. And then they are encouraging the citizens in, and the students and the young people in their community to come and use the hub. And of course, it is beneficial to everybody. Students that don't have access to the internet now have access. It's an opportunity for them to learn. Uh, you know, I've been saying that the IT skills are the skills of the future. And we could not, this center could not be successful without the, uh, the members of this community. With numerous benefits taking shape at the Crabwood Creek ICT, you may be wondering how the hub was established. Up to February of this year, a room in the pavilion of the Crabwood Creek Community Center ground stored 15 computers in boxes collecting dust and cobwebs. An assessment was done by a team from the e-government which saw the immense potential. Presidential Advisor on e-governance Floyd Levi immediately decided that the facility could be used to transform the lives of Crabwood Creek residents. The brand new computers were taken out, dusted off, and a fully connected internet hub was established. This is a real success story. Um, I'm now visiting here today after about four months. Um, and this is um, quite, quite, quite a surprise to me to see how we could have torn around a, a community that had a, at that time um, a number of computers that were in a room locked away inaccessible to the community. They were all in a decrepit state. Lots of dust, lots of cobweb. Nobody knew of this location. And to see what the residents and the management committee could have made out of this. As a matter of fact, it was in early February, I think. Early February, I think, um, you know, when we were called uh, to visit Crabwood Creek because um, one of the residents here reported to the authorities that there was a, a computer room um, with several computers that no one had a control over, no one could have accessed the, the computers. I think there were about 15 or so computers in the room. Uh, you know, he wanted um, government to come and, you know, be made aware of it. So we came up that weekend and we saw, we met with the, um, I think it was the chairperson of the NDC, and we indicated to them there and then that, you know, this is a wonderful opportunity for us to transform what obtained at that time into something that was um, going to be meaningful, something that was going to be useful for all of the residents in the community. And it was at that, that meeting, I think it was a Saturday, where we immediately installed internet access and we demonstrated to them that with internet access and the computers here, that they, could have, um, that they can change things. So I'm quite pleased to be able to visit here today and hear all of the wonderful stories, all of the wonderful um, utilization of this facility. Um, I must also point out that Crabwood Creek um, was the first one of such um, that we found where computers were actually um, locked away in a room in, um, in, in, in very, very poor conditions and that we've been able to make changes. Everything were just thrown about the place, nothing was properly connected, all wires, there were no wiring, no, no routers. We asked Mr. Walker that I think it should be properly completed, then handed over to us. A couple of months went by and we got no way with it. And my sister and her husband were here visiting. And I showed them a letter we had prepared to send out to ask for donations. After reading it, I was given $75,000 to do the wiring, which I use. And um, we complete all the wiring, the installation of everything, and open our doors a couple of weeks, a couple of days after that. The other thing that was missing was a proper printer, which I call on a couple of friends overseas from America and ask for them to donate the computer with papers and toners. 
and um, that we have also installed there. Even though the lives of the residents are being transformed in Crabwood Creek, which is one of the aims of the Ministry of Public Telecommunications through the development of ICT hubs, there is a lighter side to the establishment. There's a social side to it. Having the community work and um, play here, in a sense, and study here, in a sense, actually fosters uh, social cohesion, social cohesion in the community. It's a bringing together. Of, um, of community members, I mean, persons who would not have had um, any reason whatsoever to socialize or to relate with each other, come into this common space, this safe space, because we, we always emphasize that a community ICT hub should be a safe space. So working with the management uh, committee and the monitoring committee, um, we, we aim to transform not only the lives through the technology, but to bring people closer together. With such an overwhelming response to the Crabwood Creek ICT hub, plans are in the making for expansion. One of the things that we recognize is that um, communities have varying sizes. Now, Crabwood Creek is a very large community, a very large community. And as you can see, the, the, the setting here um, could become cramped if 30 people turn up. So we are obviously willing to work with the uh, management committee for this community ICT hub to expand because there's actually a room next door in which we can expand and also provide um, you know, more bandwidth to this um, community because we already see how it is transforming the lives of the residents and we'd want to ensure that that transformation continues. Thank you.